So hello everybody. Today, today we'll be taking a look at this railway gondola type OMMR with the NAF craft gun. It actually has two NAF craft guns because I added a 20 millimeter flat to it, a flat fairling. Um, this is for my K5 diorama when I ever get started on it again. But this part's finished at least and my VI360 is almost finished too. And take a look at these instructions. You see it comes with a lot of a lot of sprues. And 14 sprues of gray plastic plus a sprue with the crew. Which I don't I'm not gonna use a crew, but I bought a, a resin crew for it, which is gonna be, you know, I don't usually do figures, but I'm gonna try it. So you can see we start building the side rails here. And this is the front and the back pieces. And we have here the framing the bogies and some of the center pieces and then here's the brake parts and the uh, leaf springs putting the springs on, putting the brakes on and the, the first wheel and here on the other side the same thing with the uh, with the brakes and the, the springs uh, you repeat and then you have to glue the two sides together and that's kind of difficult to get them straight to get them level um, if you're fast enough you can get this together and probably have these framing pieces on the top finished these framing um, I would do this part here before you glue the two halves together and then you can glue this on top of the other piece so it's it can stay uh, straighter that way. It'd be a lot easier to get straight. And here we have the air tanks. And here are these framing that goes in the middle. And like I said, with this, you know, I would do this. I would do this before you glue the two halves together. I think it's better that way. There's some little details that go on here too. These hooks and stuff. Then you go with the details on the ends, like the uh, connection things, and all the, the, the lines and the step here, and the uh, steps here. Same thing on the other side, pretty much, except for this one has this long chain and stuff. Put it all, put it all in there. Then we work on the sides. There's uh, four sides, two, four long sides, and then the two doors in the middle, like this. Two long sides and two doors in the middle. And it was pretty difficult to get it all squared up. And because one of these, you have, uh, on the end pieces, you have these little plastic pins, and one of them broke, so the one side doesn't stay together anymore, really. So you see all the framing that goes on the sides. Um, little shelving and stuff. The details here, this is like the, uh, the it holds it, holds it shut. Then here you put the two sides together with the doors and the piece that shuts it. Then it's pretty much finished. You just have to do the, you get the, I think it's the MG34 and the crew. And then we get some painting. Which I didn't really go by the painting instructions. Mine looks a little bit more like this. And I just did this, uh, you know, it has the gray paint, it's worn, it's uh, faded. And the crew decided to put some uh, some of the brown on it. This is the uh, gray brown that they had. You know, it's the same color that I used to camo the 20 millimeter here on the, on the shields and stuff. I just think, you know, the crew did a real quick job putting a little brown paint on it to break up the silhouette. I've got some rust on it, but I still do, I still want to do a, a, a weathering coat. Some, some beige or something, especially along the bottom. We've got the machine gun here. We have some extra ammo. Ammo boxes, extra ammo there. 
fit. The pins don't even, it doesn't even fit really good with or without the pins. And also have the ammo and the gun. took a long time to do all this and I just had to redo some of it too because it's I don't know the Ravel glue didn't hold I put super glue on it it should hold now I hope and so far for my K5 I have this and two uh, box cars uh, 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 BR-52, uh, BR-360, and then the K-5. I wanted to find a passenger car, but nobody makes one, so... Passenger car for the crew. And you have your two trains, because I'm going to have two parallel tracks with a, a piece where it, uh, you know, connects. Which I put a lot of... <laughs> getting it in there. a lot of money to get all that stuff actually. You see the sides aren't exactly straight either. It's a bit crooked here. I wish they would have thought about a different way to do the sides because it's it looks warped. I think it's a really good kit. This is the second time I built it. It does have a a few trouble spots where it takes some thinking and a little experience maybe to uh, to get it to look like it's supposed to and I would have uh, if I was dragging I would have added a metal rod to the two indoors the two inside insides where it swings uh, for a stronger hold because it just doesn't hold to those plastic pins one of them broke off and one of them looks like it's about to break off so thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and join me next time we'll be taking a look at this old Fiesler FE 156 Stor Storka, uh, that's not spelled right, <laughs> but uh, from Humbrol SE in 1448 scale. Until then, bye.